creeps, my name is Cameron and welcome back to Library Macabre where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And today we are going to be taking a look at my Stephen King bookshelf. So you'll have to forgive me if this video is a bit shaky. I am on a ladder in order to reach this top shelf and I have my camera on a selfie stick so that way it makes it a little easier to control. So this is a, a little bit awkward, but uh, doing the best I can. So first up we have The Stand by Stephen King. Most of the books that I have up here are all first editions. The Stand isn't. It's a really rare book. It's it's hard to find a first edition of. Uh, this is a, a later printing, but it's still pretty early. So there is The Stand. And that, of course, is the original edition. It's not the complete uncut version. Next is The Bachman Books, four early novels by Stephen King. So you have Rage, The Long Walk, Roadwork, and The Running Man. Cycle of the Werewolf, which is not a first printing. I still need to get one. Skeleton Crew, my beautiful first edition of Firestarter, and the illustrated edition of Salem's Lot. Next, we have It by Stephen King. Obviously, that is not a first edition. I bought it thinking it was a first edition, and it's actually a book club edition, so I'll need to rebuy that at some point. Misery, The Tommy Knockers. I have Myler covers on most of these, so they might be a bit shiny. The Dark Half, Four Past Midnight. I actually just got a brand new first edition of this. This one's in really bad shape, but the new one I got is much better. Needful Things, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, Dolores Claiborne. Gerald's Game, which is actually one of my favorite Stephen King books that I've read so far. Rose Matter, The Regulators, and Desperation. These two, of course, kind of go together. Bag of Bones, Hearts in Atlantis, Storm of the Century, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. The Diary of Ellen Rimbauer, My Life at Rose Red, which isn't technically written by Stephen King. It's written by uh, Ridley Pearson, I think is his name. Um, but it's based off of Rose Red by Stephen King, so put it in the Stephen King section. Uh, we have Dreamcatcher, From a Buick 8, Everything's Eventual. This cover used to terrify me when I was a kid. I think this came out like back in 2002. I would have been about 10 years old. It always freaked me out. Cell. Lizzie's Story. It's amazing how many of these are going to be turned into movies soon. Blaze. Duma Key. Just After Sunset. Under the Dome. Monster of a book. Blockade Billy. Full Dark. No Stars. Now, I'm not as well versed in King as uh, most of you probably are. I have not read every single one of his books. I've only read really about 15 of them. This is 11, 22, 63. I've been collecting all of his books whenever I can find them inexpensively, Joyland. But I still have a lot to catch up on. I have seen the majority of his movies though, multiple times. Dr. Sleep. Which was a great movie. Um, hopefully this year I can actually start catching up and reading a lot of these. Mr. Mercedes. Me saying that probably makes some of you cringe, I can imagine. Finders Keepers. End of Watch. I'm in the corner now, so it's a little bit difficult to get to these. Revival. I read Revival. I didn't care for that one too much. 
Bazaar of Bad Dreams, Sleeping Beauties. It's funny, when I was a kid, I would go to the used bookstore and buy Stephen King paperbacks all the time, but I wasn't allowed to read them. My mom didn't want me to read them until I was 18. I spent a lot of time collecting Stephen King and wishing I could read his books. And once I did turn old enough to read his books, I was so behind, I was overwhelmed. Wendy's Button Box, The Institute, which is the UK edition. Got that as a gift from a friend. Dark Tower 4, Wizarding Glass. I've read the first three Dark Tower books. Wind Through the Keyhole, which is 4.5 of the Dark Tower series. And then I'm not gonna pull out all these because they're tucked back there. So uh, we have the Barnes and Noble leather bound edition of The Stand, the complete uncut version, and books five, six, and seven of The Dark Tower. And then over here, uh, these are like my Anne Rice books, um, but down here I do have a Stephen King magazine, the complete guide to Stephen King. And now we're gonna go right down here. These are uh, all of my horror paperbacks. I have a whole wall of them. Um, but these right here are all of my Stephen King paperbacks, most of which I've had since I was a kid. So we have, of course, Carrie, Salem's Lot, the complete uncut version of The Stand. And we're gonna come right on down here. We've got The Shining, which I have read, by the way. I've read The Shining. We have The Dead Zone, Cujo, The Dark Tower, The Gunslinger, Christine, and Pet Cemetery, which is by far my favorite Stephen King book that I've read out of the 15 that I've read. Eyes of the Dragon, really want to get a first edition hardcover of that soon. Thinner, The Talisman, co-written with Peter Straub. A very creased up copy of Drawing of the Three. I've had this since I was a kid. The Wastelands, Dark Tower Three. And then we have the serialized little versions of The Green Mile. Though I would really like to get a hardcover that binds all of these up. So we have The Two Dead Girls, part one. Part two, The Mouse on the Mile. Part three, Coffee's Hands. Part four, The Bad Death of Edward Delacroix. Part five, Night Journey. And part six, Coffee on the Mile. Now that isn't all of my Stephen King. I do have a copy of On Writing, which I keep sandwiched between Anne Rice, Diary of a Young Girl, and Jesus Calling, which was a gift from my mom. <laughs> um, this is my nonfiction shelf. Um, there's books about books there, books about writing. So I just stuck on writing right there. And also coming down to my comic book graphic novel section, we have The Talisman, volume one is the graphic novel version. I, I actually don't think they did any more of those. I think there's only one volume. And coming on down here, we also have, it's hard to get to, here we go, Creep Show, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. And that, my friends, is my Stephen King collection. Hey creeps, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I do have a few more parts of my horror bookshelf tour, so if you're into more than just Stephen King, you might like to take a look at some of my other horror books. And if you'd like to go even bigger, I do have an entire library tour here on my channel, so I will leave the links down below in the graveyard. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Library Macabre. Later creeps.